Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can create a share button. The share button that you can share images, links, text, anything. It's very simple to implement and almost every application uses it. So let's go and see how it's actually done. So let's start with a new project and it's gonna be a single view application and let's call this share. Go create next, it's gonna be in language Swift. Next, create. Perfect. Now let's go and put our button. Here I'm gonna have a button and I'm gonna put it in the middle. And this is share button. Now let's open assistant editor and connect my button action right here. When I click the button, I want to do something and this is gonna be called share pressed. Like this. Now close the assistant editor and go to your view controller. When uh, you press share, you actually want to create an activity view controller and let's go and create this one. So let activity VC equals a UI activity view controller. And you want to open this one. And as you can see here, you have activity items and, act and application activities. Now, activity items is what you want to share. Now, imagine that view controller, you have, for example, an image or you have text. And in there, you want to insert this text in that array here. So what I want to share, for example, is I want to share a string. And that string is, for example, a link, which is google.com. Now, when I try to share, this is what is going to autocomplete on my sharing message. And as an activity, you want nil. You don't want any application activities. Now, in here, you can, you can put any value. You can put string, integers, images. For example, if you want to share an image, you can put an UI image in there. And the next thing you want to do is you want to present it as a popover. So you say activity VC dot pop over uh, presentation controller dot source view is your self dot view so that view is the one that's gonna present this popover and after that you want to simply say self dot present and here you want to say activity vc animated true and no completion now if i run my project you will see that the activity popover will appear and since we are running in the simulator it's not gonna have any applications there so i will also show you how it looks like in your mobile with all the applications so by pressing share you see the popover appears and generally here are gonna be all the applications like your mail messenger whatsapp anything so let's go and actually show you how it looks like in the phone so here is my iphone now by pressing share you will see the activity pops up and you have airdrop and all the applications in here now if i select message you will see my message field is gonna fill up with my google.com website now that's because that's what i put in my application to share. Let's go ahead and show you how we can actually put and share an image. Going back to our main storyboard, let's go and put an UI image here, UI image view. I'm gonna grab one image view right here. I'm not gonna put any constraints right now, I'm just gonna show you how it works. And let's go and insert an image into our assets. I have one right here, just gonna drag and drop it. And this image is going to be that one. All right, so I have this image. I'll, let's go and connect this to our view controller. And by click, right click and drag our image view and say image view to our view controller, we create an outlet. Perfect. Now let's go back to our view controller. Now, this image view has an image. so. Basically, in here, instead, I will just say self.imageview.image. 
and this is gonna take the image that's in the image view and it's gonna share our image. So let's run this again and see how it works. All right, here is our application running on my phone. So by pressing share, here are my options and I'm gonna choose message again. And as you can see, my message uh, field is already filled up with the image that I want to share. So it's very simple and very straightforward. So go ahead and implement it into your applications. And this is it for today, guys. As you could see, it was very simple to implement this share button to your applications. If you like the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any recommendations on what you want to see in this channel, don't forget to comment in the section below. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video.